Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I just want to get into the topic of how a lot of times guys will say when it comes to the dating market, they'll say um, that they don't care if a woman makes money. That's not what their concern is. It's cool. It's a plus if they have that, but at the same time too, they're not looking at them for that purpose um, because generally speaking, the top qualities that a guy looks for more so than anything because he knows he's saying to himself he's going to be the provider is, um, you know, things like the attractiveness, obviously, submission. Um, and like I said, people think that's a bad word, but it's not. And, you know, maybe management of the interior of the home, meaning like taking care of the kids, maintaining the lifestyle, setting up doctor's appointments, just running all that kind of stuff similar to, you know, people's grandparents used to do back in the days or, or their moms or something similar to that. But anyway, the main uh, topic or the main issue that I wanted to kind of jump on was <clears throat> that though peep guys will say that, um, understand that there is a correlation between somebody who is trying to um, take care of their own self at a certain point in life or a certain age that reflects on what they want in their partner for it. So I'll give an example. And this is something that does mean something to men in general, though it's not expressed in this way. So like I said, a guy generally doesn't care about a woman's finances. Um, if a guy does care about a woman's finances, then that usually mean, means he hasn't really got himself, you know, really what he needed to do. Now, it doesn't mean that in today's day and age, I am very much a believer in that because you know, you don't have those single income, those single, how should I word this? The amount of income that a person makes, they used to call it a family income where like a man can make enough to support the whole family by himself and no one else would need to do anything. That doesn't really exist anymore these days for the average person. So I do think that there is a level of cooperation that a woman can play in terms of the money that she brings into the home with the man to have a better future. But in general, when we're looking for someone, a man is generally not saying, well, I'm calculating how much they make, um, generally speaking, because he normally says, I got to take care of myself and I will take care of my family in general. Though a little bit extra money is cool. It's not required. You get the point I'm trying to say. But though a guy is not generally looking for that quality in a woman to say how much money she's making, it is a show or a sign of how much the woman cares of taking care of herself or or meaning that she's not just looking for somebody for that purpose. Like she's not just looking for money, even though when that time comes, she might be willing to take a back seat and say to the, you know, the guy in her life, you know what, you need me to stay home, take care of the kids <clears throat> while you bring the money. I don't like doing that. But the way you're living your life before you're with someone is a show of what you're expecting. So to break that down to the age wise and what men would be kind of looking for, and this is kind of a little bit of, I guess you could say, a benefit or a tip to women, but it's also just putting that out there to debunk this idea that men don't um, care about a woman's money because they really don't, but there is a dynamic to that. If a woman is like 18 to 22 years old, it doesn't matter what they're doing. Um, you know, if you're working part time, if you're going to school, maybe you're not doing either of that. You're just living at home with your family, even though someone would still want to know, okay, what, what are you doing at that point? Are you going to try to do something? But generally speaking, there's a lot more leeway that you don't have to be doing anything and doesn't look negative on you necessarily because you're still young. From the age of, say, about 25 to 30, a woman needs to be either working it doesn't have to be a heavy job maybe they're doing retail maybe they're not making a lot of money they're doing something basic where you know maybe they're making ten dollars an hour they could be making more but my point is is that even if they're making that much it's not going to be looked frowned upon on them as much in terms of a guy looking at them because he's like she's at least working she's covering her own to some degree because at that age 25 maybe 30 you're either still um living at home with your parents or you're about to move out at 30 or 35 now it's not so much about you having a, a super you know um large money making job where you're making a whole bunch of money <clears throat> it's more about were you able to sustain on your own so at 30 or 35 you need to be making enough income to be living on your own you have to be living a fancy life or a lavish life you just have to be able to be living on your own why does that matter 
because it shows that you aren't now looking for someone to pick up the pieces of your life. Um, and at every stage of the game, from 25 to 20 to 30, it's like you're already showing you're not looking for someone to pick up the pieces. As you get older, you now have to make a little bit more money. So that way there's less of a quote unquote mess to clean up of your life because you're able to hold your own. So now you're not looking at that man to come and clean up your life. A perfect example of that is if a woman is like 35 years old and she, you know, is barely able to keep her head above water or like hardly working any job at all, or maybe bumming off our parents, you know that that woman is looking for a man just as a paycheck, probably not even to care about the man, just as a paycheck. And at that point, it's not that the man cares about her money that she's making, but he cares about her mentality. If you get what I'm trying to say, and if that, that shows clear in terms of the examples I'm giving, it's about seeing the mentality of what that person is about. And if that person was working a job and they don't have to be making a whole bunch of money, but like I said, if they do, that's cool. But if they are, it's showing their mentality is I don't need someone to clean up the pieces. I want a relationship. If the relationship becomes me depending on that man, that's cool, but that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for companionship. And there's a difference between someone who's looking for another person to clean up their life, someone who's looking for companionship and the whole, you know, the hopeful package of we're going to build together. You tell me what you need me to do from the woman's perspective. Like you need me to, you know, leave this job that I have and and I'm going to become the stay at home mom. That's cool. If you don't need me to do that, then that's cool too. And I'm not saying this from a perspective of like the woman should be doing exactly what the man says. I'm saying it from the perspective of, of, of a, what does the woman bring to the table? And, And in terms of, does it matter to the guy that she's making money? Um, and I'm, so I'm just saying that from the, that perspective of that, the guy doesn't care, but he also wants to know that you're not looking at him to clean up the pieces. You could come into the picture and say, I want to be a stay at home mom. And they'll be okay with that. As long as they know your intention was not, I'm coming here to use you to clean up my life. Even if the end result is the same. So for example, you have a woman who has a job, whether it's a great job, whether it's a basic job, she gets with a man. That man says, listen, I got everything covered. I want you to stay at home, take care of the kids. And now she's a stay-at-home mom. The other example, there's a woman who doesn't work at all. She's just sitting around. She lives at home with her parents and she's 35 years old. And now all of a sudden she gets with a guy and now she's like, I want to stay at home and take care of the kids while you go and work. The two of them, even though it's the same result at the end, both of them viewed it differently. One was viewing it to be saved. The other one was viewing it like I'm adapting to this new lifestyle that suits me. And that's a difference. So with that is why I make the statement to say, do men look for women to be making money? Is that a big criteria for them? No. Most men who are about their own business and is self-independent, that's not what they're looking for. But it does make a difference in terms of you showing how you carry yourself, if that makes sense. And as always, you guys, like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.